Good morning, everybody. It's Brian for GadgetUnit.com, and it is Friday, April 14th, 2017. It's about 22 past 7 in the morning on my way to work, and there is not a single bit of traffic on the roads this morning. School is out as well for some reason. I'm not sure why. I guess it's just an off Friday for them, which I guess must be really nice for the kids. Plan for later today is to go to Six Flags after work and see what's going on there, if only just to walk around a lap and see if anything has changed since the last time I've been there. Might ride a couple of rides if the lines aren't too long. And I think that is it with this morning portion of the vlog. I will talk to you guys later this afternoon. I'm gonna go and check out what I wanted to check out after the Alamo vlog from the other day. So be on the lookout for that. Now, earlier this week, I showed you guys the Alamo, which is right here. And today I wanted to show you all what we have directly across from it. And what you can see are some tourist traps, or at least that's what I call them. Now on this end we have the Tomb Raider 3D ride. It is a multi-story sit down and shoot stuff type of ride. And then next to that we have the Ripley's Haunted Adventure ride, which is kind of similar, I think. I actually did go on the Tomb Raider, uh, excuse me, Tomb Raider 3D ride. I swear it said Raider, but it doesn't. Went on that one before. It was okay. It lasted less than five minutes. Not the most exciting thing in the world, especially if you've seen the ones at Disneyland and Disney World. You do have some new standards. They do have the Ripley's Haunted Adventure attraction right next to it. And here we have the Guinness World Record Museum, which I have gone to before and I do not recommend it because it's actually kind of dated and a lot of the things in there don't actually work. It's kind of a rundown museum once you actually get inside, get inside some of the sections, but it does cover pretty much these stories here. Oh, this morning I mentioned that there was no traffic at all on the freeway, and I forgot that it's actually Easter weekend, so all the schools are out already, which explains that. And it also explains why this area is busier than usual. Of course it is a Friday, so it's going to naturally be busier, but of course it is a holiday weekend, so a lot more people are going to be out here. Down there are the three attractions that I showed, and if we come down the street just a little bit, you can see that we have the Ripley's, believe it or not, auditorium. Notice the spelling on that. And then next to that, we do have the Wax Museum. I haven't gone into either of these before, but they are right here. And then depending on where you get your tickets from, you can actually get a bundle that gives you access to all of these. There is a closer look at the Wax Museum, and directly across from that, we have the Amazing Mirror Maze, a 4D experience. I didn't even know this was here before. There is a religious person making some noise behind me, so there is that. Those were just some of the extra attractions that we have here. I think this entire area is called the main plaza and I actually saw some renderings of what they want to do to this entire area to change up almost all of it. So later in maybe the next four to five years, this entire block could be completely different than it is now. Now it's time to get some lunch. No, I'm not talking about eating a horse. I'm talking about going to the River Center Mall and checking out the Taco Bell to see if they are busy like they were the last time I tried to go there. Speaking of the last time I went there, I waited in line for 20 minutes to get the Triple Double Crunch Wrap that they were advertising all over the TV and all over the actual restaurant. And of course, by the time I got up there, they said that they were totally out of them. Well, the Triple Double Crunch Wrap was pretty good, I must say. I've always been a fan of Taco Bell and pretty much everything that they have, as long as it's not too spicy. Yeah, this mall actually has a Pokemon store. Not sure how long it's gonna be around, but hey, if you wanna go to one, here it is. And that concludes lunch. I am back and it's currently two till five in the afternoon. Currently on I-10, headed towards Six Flags. Just gonna stay there for a little while to see how things are doing, as I mentioned earlier. Now, Nathan Souter left multiple questions. The first one was, how's vlogging on your S7? So in regard to battery life. With light vlogging, I can still get through the entire day. When I do record video with it, I leave the brightness at max brightness just to make sure that I can see everything if I'm having the camera see what I'm looking at rather than it looking at myself like right now. He also asked, how's the lip? It actually is better. Last night, it must have started the recovery process and today it hasn't felt nearly as bad as it usually has for the past week but the canker sore uh, liquid that 
sort of numbs the area a little bit, definitely helps. It lasts for about 30 to 45 minutes before it goes away. Lastly, you asked if I wanted to come and visit. I'm not sure about Virginia. I hear it's pretty cold there. Essentially, if it's 75 degrees or less Fahrenheit, then it's practically freezing to me. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm just so used to the 80 degree weather like right now. It's gonna feel pretty good walking around Six Flags in a little while especially as it slowly starts to cool down and never really gets too cool, always stays a little bit warm and a little bit humid as well. All four of those questions were in one comment and that was the only comment to address. So I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes at Six Flags. I am back at the rim making a left like I did about two weeks ago when I went to the Microsoft store. Six Flags is just straight ahead. I do have a season pass so I can go practically whenever they are open. The water park opens at the end of the month. The parking lot looks incredibly busy right now. It is a lot more filled in than the last time I was here, which was actually early January. Only one lane is open right now for some reason. Certainly not a Disney World or Disneyland-like entrance here. Man, they charge $22 to park here. Who do they think they are, Disney? $10 extra to park up front wherever that's going to be. And I am through. The speed limit is apparently 14 miles an hour. That's an interesting number. Might look that up sometime to see if Six Flags has any sort of background or reasoning behind the 14 mile an hour number. And here I am going down the regular area. Looks like they're actually building a new water ride to the right. You might be able to see it. It is nice to see them expanding the, the water park. It is a relatively small water park. It's still not too bad. Yeah, I definitely do not remember seeing this many cars in a very long time. Then again, it is a holiday weekend. This many people, I guess, should be expected, although it's just Easter. Yeah, there's a truck coming, dude. Trying to see what rides are open. Obviously, this blue one in front of me is open. That's called the Goliath. The up and down thing is open. The Batman roller coaster is open. Seems like everything is open. That was my quick overview of Six Flags Fiesta Texas. There are a lot more rides and attractions than what I showed. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm not entirely sure what's gonna be going on tomorrow, but there will be one week left until I go to Hawaii. I'm definitely looking forward to that, although my wallet's not looking forward to it. It's gonna be a pretty pricey trip, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I'm planning on doing a large trip like that once every couple of years. I think in 2019, I'll go to Europe, hopefully somewhere around Spain, Netherlands, England, France, Germany, all of those countries. Perhaps I could fly there and then travel to each one of those by train or maybe just rent a car and drive across all of them. And I think that about does it with VEDA 14. Tune in tomorrow for VEDA 15 for Saturday, April 15th. I will talk to you guys then.